Hello guys and welcome back to part 41 of What a Legend. I'm scared, okay? Let's go. After last night, I'll do anything for you. What's Kevin doing here? In the name of Hall Hammerdick. Hello? Musku, what are you doing here, buddy? Does a myrtle still live in this hut? She does, but a wolf attacked her a couple of days ago and I stayed here to help. I wish I had known, buddy. I could have helped you. I knew something like this might happen once her husband left. Do you know him? I used to come here once a month to take his firewood to the city. We used to chat sometimes. He was always talking about trees. I searched for him everywhere after he was lost. But he was useless. <coughs> Beautiful horse. Yeah, this is George. <laughs> Hello, George. <coughs> anyway, I'm here for an official matter. So is Myrtle home, buddy? She's getting dressed. <laughs> nice. I can't blame you for liking her. It's good to know she has a man to properly take care of her. <laughs> Guard! Announce my presence, are you uncultured vermin? Yes, my lord. <laughs> I forgot about you, my lord. Uh, Myrtle? Good morning, Kevin. How's Kelly? The boy is fine, busy, busy as usual. <coughs> How are you doing? Misky tells me that you've been having wolf problems. Yes, but we took care of it, didn't we, Misky? Sure we did. Very mean. Oh, pardon me, my lord. Listen up. You are in the presence of Lord Hummerdick. The ruler of the old capital and the loyal ally of His Majesty King Will the First. <laughs> so this is the guy who took over the city, huh? Much better. But isn't Lady Goldenbush the ruler? She's dead. Oh no! Oh yes. Are you the new woodcutter boy? Is this your hut? Uh, me? No. This is my house, my lord. My husband is the woodcutter. Then is it you who haven't been paying your taxes? Taxes? That's right, subject. And you may overdo. My lord, Lady Goldenbush decided to pardon those taxes due to the unfortunate circumstances I told you about earlier. Goldenbushes are done. I am in charge. Please, my lord, have mercy. My husband is away, and when he comes back, he will. we will pay the money. Isn't her husband dead? You told me that he used to send firewood to the castle as payment, but that he's dead. My husband is not dead. He will come back, and he will pay the taxes. Do you understand? I am sure, subject, but the treasury is not going to wait for your husband's return from the dead. Come on, my lord. Lady Goldenbush was always kind to those who needed help. Say the woman's name one more time, guard, and you will be sorry. But my lord, if you show kindness to your people, they will be loyal to you in return. Loyalty is whipped into them, vermin, not guarding in return. Please, my lord, give me a bit of time. I will pay the money. Hmm. Very well. We will return in a few days to receive your payment, whether in coin or in wood. But if you fail, we will send you to the castle to scrub the floor. <gasps> Forever. Fuck. I, I will try, my lord. Thank you. Don't fail us. Yes, my lord. We are tired, guard. Escort us back to the gate. As you wish, my lord. Damn, Miss K, I'm sorry about this old body. I had no idea why he wanted to guard who knew these areas. It's not your fault. Don't keep us waiting, guard. I wish I had the money to help Miss K. They don't pay us enough. But I can take him to other places first, to buy Myrtle some time. Don't worry about Myrtle, man. I'll take care of her. Good luck, buddy. Verbin! Right away, my lord. <sighs> A 
right when I thought everything was fine, this hammer dick guy had to show up and spoil the mood. I felt like kicking his lordly ass. That would be stupid though, Serena wouldn't want me to draw attention to myself. Yeah, let's just go and see if Myrtle's okay and give her some gold. I've got plenty. Myrtle, I've got an idea. I know you're worried, Miss Kay, but don't be. I'll do something. No, I'm not worried, and you don't need to do anything either, because I have a solution. I don't remember. Did Lord Humberdick say you how much time he's giving me? No, he didn't specify. It's going to be okay, Myrtle. I... Jack! It's all his fault. How could he leave me penniless like this? I've been as frugal as it's possible to be, but still... No, I have to be strong. And if I can find the money, I, I'm, I'm good at cleaning. I like it. Maybe I will like the castle. Scrubbing the floor could be fun. Myrtle, listen, I can help you. I've got gold. Thanks, Miss Key, but no, this is my problem. And excuse me, but I... I need to go to the river and wash. And think. Did you say no? Nah, I didn't approach it the right way. She just wanted to enjoy her morning bath in the river. Actually, perhaps I should go and spy on her as she's swimming. I bet she'll think about me, especially after last night. I mean, I wouldn't think about her. I am thinking about her. Anyway, let's don't get distracted. I must think and come up with a good reason to give Myrtle some gold. Okay, I should think. Okay, Myrtle's got to pay her overdue taxes. Oh, Lord Hammerdick would send her off to work in the castle. How could I help her? Myrtle wanted me to pay in order to lodge here, right? Well, it's time I paid my rent. Let's go and tell her about it. So, we should go to the riverside. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I should just follow her and try to talk to her. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got something for you. Oh my god! Where did I get as much gold from? It's a birthday gift from, uh, from my cousin. Anyway, it's a magical coin sack. The gold will never finish. Uh-huh. No, I'm serious. And here, take as much gold as you need. It's the rent I owe you for letting me lodge here. Actually, keep the whole thing. Your needs are greater than mine. Miski, thank you so much. But I can't accept your money. What? Why? Look, you gave me lodging and you said I would have to pay a few coins a week. Put that thing in your bag first. You don't want to lose it. And, Miski, I said that before the wolf almost got me. Remember? And also before. Before we did mm, to each other. On the carpet. But what does sex have to do with it? If anything, it should be the opposite. I have feelings for you and I want to help you financially. What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong. But I have to solve my money problem alone. I cannot forever rely on others. First, I led Jack to be the sole breadwinner and then I accepted Lady's Golden Bosch's charity. I have to know that I can do it myself. I have to... And after saving you and getting rid of the wolf, I feel like I can do anything. But... Don't worry, I have a good plan. Come out with me, and I'll show you. One moment, please. So guys, I think I'm gonna close the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next video. Bye!